This story is a concrete instance of Jesus' formula, many who are first will be last and the last first. The scribes are first in Jesus' culture. The audience is addressed as the crowd in the temple. You may want to indicate the grandness of the temple in your introduction to the story. Jesus' warning is then to the crowd and in Mark's context to his audience. The dynamics of distance in relation to the scribes are very clear. Jesus is seeking to create distance from the scribes who were respected centers of authority in both his day and in Mark's day. This saying about the scribes follows the one positive encounter between Jesus and the scribes in the whole of the Gospel of Mark. The story of the scribe who came and asked Jesus, Teacher, what is the first and the greatest of the commandments? And Jesus responded, and the scribe said, You have answered well, teacher, that to love God is more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And Jesus said, You are not far from the kingdom of God. This is a positive rabbinic discussion about the priority of of the law. This critique of the scribes then follows. It may also be addressed to scribes in Jesus' audience and in Mark's audience. Their role was to write legal documents and to issue rulings on the legal dimensions of the Torah. They were a small elite of literate culture. Relatively few people could read in Jesus' culture, 10-15% at most. And of those who could read, a much smaller percentage were able to write anything more than their name or simple basic writing. The scribes were the masters of the skills of literate culture. They had power and were prosperous, as are many lawyers now. The devouring of widows' houses is probably more in reference to their treatment of widows and of the process of the distribution of inheritance to widows. Their houses, then, are their estates, their inheritance from their husbands. And the devouring that happened was that they stole significant parts of their income. Widows were known in Jesus' day to be impoverished. The treatment of the scribes was a major reason for that impoverishment. It may be that there were a few who also got sexual favors uh, in return for consideration of the needs of the widows, but I doubt that that is a primary reference here. And Jesus' final critique is that they prayed for the sake of appearances. Jesus' condemnation, then, is a clear instance of his teaching, many who are first will be last. Namely, scribes who are first now will be last in the kingdom of God. The celebration of the widow is the reverse. The last will be first. Jesus' words are spoken in intimacy and of the deepest respect for the widow. His words to the disciples are words of wonder. Truly, I tell you, this widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasury. Look at this. So Jesus honors this poor widow and her contribution to the treasury of the temple in the most extreme way. You may want, in the introduction of this story, 
to indicate how little her contribution is. The widow came, put in two small copper coins, which are <laughs> but a penny. So it's some way of conveying the monetary insignificance of her contribution may be important as a prelude to Jesus' words of honor. It simply increases the contrast uh, between its actual monetary worth and Jesus' recognition of its spiritual worth.